Hey, hey, I'm Mindy Kniss. This is The Daily Rage. I received a couple questions from some viewers, so let's go through those today. Casey wrote in and said, Hi, I heard you say you got parallels for your Mac so you could trade using TradeStation. How is that working? I will do it if it's been good for you. Well, Casey, thank you for the question. You might have been watching a very old video because I have not had parallels in probably about six months or so. Uh, it was about that time last year that I threw in the towel with parallels. I gave up and I'll tell you why. So I had been using parallels. I still love Mac. I use Mac for everything else in my business and in my life other than trading. And I got to the point where one, I was noticing that parallels was a big drain on my computer system. So that wasn't necessarily good. I need all the resources that I can get for running things like TradeStation. And secondly, anytime that there was an update with parallels, it would like ruin something else, either in TradeStation or NinjaTrader, whatever platform that I was using. So I was having to rebuild a lot of my stuff and it just wasn't working easily and effortlessly, which is how I like things. I like things to be efficient and that was just not an efficient system for me. So like I said, I did go out, I bought a PC, I got an HP. It's like, you know, nothing fancy, but at least it gets the job done. I also got a Surface Pro so that I could trade and travel if I wanted to do that. So I can't say that I recommend Parallels. I guess the only reason why it might make sense for some people is if it's a budgetary thing, if you don't have the resources to just go out and get another computer, Parallels could be a, a Band-Aid, let's say, temporarily. That's what it was for me. Like I said, I finally threw in the towel. But thanks, as always, for your question, Casey. Second up, we have a question from Mark. Mark says, Mindy, hello, I have a question for you. I can get through the first level of Apex. It's the second level that trips me up. The level I like to refer to as the death zone, the one where you only get $100 to spare. And if you fall below that, you get canceled. What advice do you have to get past that level? Sincerely, Mark. Well, Mark, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by the second level. There's only really two, two ways of trading in Apex, either in an evaluation and how much money you have you know, to spare, as you say, would be dependent on what account size you have. And you're going to be in an evaluation until you pass the evaluation, then you would have a funded account. And in the funded account, you would have the same exact amount of money as you started with, because it's going to be the same account size. So again, I don't entirely know what you mean by the second level. But if what you're talking about is that you've traded and traded and traded, and you only have $100 to spare because your account has gotten that low, there's going to be two ways to look at that. First is try to prevent that in the first place. You know, maybe you're trading too big. Maybe you're over trading. There are lots of different ways uh, that people can really bust up their accounts quite quickly. I know I've done it myself a zillion times. The best answer is just to avoid getting down to where it's that close. And then if you are down to $100 left in your account, there's a couple of things you can do. One is there is a reason that Apex has a reset button. Resets right now through this whole month of April are half off. So that helps tremendously. And sometimes what I have found in the past was that I could try to work really, 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 really hard and, you know, make up from that $100 that I had left. But I could probably give myself a break, spend the $40, hit the reset button, and then not have that stress and strain and actually be able to trade better and then be further ahead within, you know, the next week or two than if I was like scraping the bottom of the barrel and and just trying to get this last little little bit. So again, it does depend on your budget. Same same as the last question, but I might just hit the reset button. Otherwise, if you didn't want to do that, you could continue to trade and I would say like definitely not with a micro Nasdaq. You could probably get away with a micro Russell, maybe a micro Dow, or you could even go smaller. You could go down to the micro yield, like the 10-year micro yield. That one is really, really, really tiny or even micro ETH because that is teensy. I mean, it's really, really, really small. You could do a lot of trades <laughs> for $100 to spare. So that's a few different options if that's what you're talking about. Again, 
Apex doesn't really have levels. It's either you're in the evaluation or you're in a funded account or you're not in any account at all. Once again, thanks so much, guys, for your questions. If any of you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. You can either drop them in the comments down below or you can just reply to any of the Daily Rage emails that come to you Monday through Friday. I'm Mindy Kinnis. Thanks so much for watching.